If you're thinking about moving to Portland and buying a condo is high up on your priority list, well, this video is for you. Today, we're gonna to talk about the five best locations for buying a condo right here in Portland, Oregon. Hey everybody, my name's Aaron Cullen. I'm a local real estate agent right here in Portland, Oregon. And today we're talking about the five best locations to buy a condo right here in Portland, Oregon. Let's get into it. The first location, since we're right here, let's talk about the South Waterfront. Now this is an amazing location. One of the best things about it is yes, we're right on the waterfront. It's south of downtown, and if you can see through the trees there, I'll go ahead and show you another shot, but we are right along the Willamette River and we're just south of downtown. And one of the awesome things about this location is number one, it's very quiet here. As you can see, it's about 11 o'clock in the afternoon. You just have some people walking their kids, walking their dogs out for a walk. There's this amazing river walk that goes all along right here on the south waterfront. You get a little of that, that quiet green space nature feel if you just need to step out of your condo just walk down one or two blocks depending on where you are and the next great thing about buying this area is all the condos are newer high-rise buildings so you're gonna get all those modern amenities that come with a building like that so if you don't want to worry about things breaking and having all those modern conveniences then hey this could be a great area for you next location is the pearl district now i personally love the pearl district that's probably one of my favorite areas of downtown and that's because of the wide variety of shops that they have there, restaurants, breweries, and parks. They have five parks all within five blocks of any condo that's in the Pearl. Now the Pearl also has a lot of mixed use types of buildings, but for the most part, most of the condos available are gonna be in these newer high-rise buildings. Now, that's another reason why I like that location a lot, because you have those newer buildings, the newer amenities, you're gonna have the secured parking underneath the garage. It's 100% walkability right there. There's two grocery stores within walking distance of that area. And not to mention everything you could possibly ever want, local shopping, coffee shops, workout places, all those amenities are right there in the Pearl. But you're a little bit further from the water, so that's one of the benefits of picking the waterfront over the Pearl. All right, the next location is Knob Hill. Knob Hill is also a very cool area. It's a little bit more trendy. You're gonna have a little bit more hip, younger crowd in Knob Hill. It's a little less commercial, a little bit more residential, but you're gonna have 21st and 23rd Avenue where you're gonna have all the shops, coffee shops, places to shop. They're all local little stores and restaurants. There's also a couple of really great parks right there and butts up right to the west side of Knob Hill is Forest Park. You're gonna have quick access to amazing trails, miles of jogging trails, walking trails, and then that all connects into parks all throughout that area. So that is definitely a great area if you wanna have that cross between nature and downtown, but you are gonna have a little bit more limited supply as far as brand new buildings. A lot of them are gonna be those older 100 year old brick buildings, but again, it does have a mix of choices. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and reach out. We can kind of go in more detail over those. The next area we're gonna talk about is downtown. Now downtown is gonna have the largest area and selection of your condos right next to the Pearl. In that area, you're gonna have more of the feel of being in the city. You're gonna have a lot of the commercial sky rises for big bank buildings and hotels things like that, that's all downtown. City Hall, the police department, all those are right downtown. You're gonna have that mixed in with condos and townhomes. So if you like a little bit more of that city feel, a little bit more of the grittiness of it, then downtown could be a great option for you. Not that it's all gritty, there's definitely some areas that are better than others. So again, reach out to me if you wanna get a little bit more detail into that area. Now the last area we're gonna talk about is Goose Hollow. Goose Hollow is just to the south of Knob Hill. And one of the cool things about that location is it's right next to Washington Park. Now it's raised up, it's very hilly right there. So you have some cool views of the downtown buildings and it's a lot more residential. So it's gonna be a little bit more quiet. There's not a lot of through traffic that's all right there of like commercial business. So you are gonna have a little bit further walk to get to a lot of the shops and all those types of things that you might be doing on a daily basis but is gonna be a little bit more quiet. So there's a little trade-off right there. A lot of people love that location because it's right next to Washington Park. Now Washington Park contains the Japanese gardens, the zoo, plus amazing trails that go all through that park. 
and kid play areas as well. If you guys have found value in this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and be notified next time I release a new video about living right here in Portland, Oregon. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.